Good morning. Today is May 6, 2021. I'll be reading to you in the book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep in per perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. May the Lord add the blessing upon the name of His words. Do not search for security in the world you inhibit. You tend to make mental checklists of things you need to do in order to gain control of your life. If only you could check everything off your list, you could relax and be at peace. But the more you work to accomplish the, that goal, the more things crop up on your list. The harder you try, the more frustrated you become. There is a better way to find security in this life. Instead of scrutinizing your checklist, focus your attention on me. Focus your attention on my presence with you. This continual contact with me will keep you in my peace. Moreover, I will help you sort out what is important and what is not. What needs to be done now and what does not. Fix your eyes not on what is seen or your circumstances, but what on but on what is unseen and that is the presence of God in your life. Gandana, do not search for security in this world kasi mawawala po yan. Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for good, a good night rest. We thank you for your words. We thank you for challenges. Challenging us again as we face this day. Help us, the Lord, to be conscious of your presence. Help us, the Father, to know that you are always in control of our circumstances. Help us, the Lord, not to, to focus on this world, but to focus on you who is the one who will lead us in our daily activities. And thank you, Lord, for giving us your words today. Help us, the Lord, to face the day with joy, with your blessing, with your strength, with your comfort, and with your victory. And Father, I pray that you'll envelop your children, Lord, with your love, and also protect them, Lord, from harm and danger. And thank you for those who just have their vaccines and those ones who just have their swab test and thank you for the favorable result and let's be the father that those ones also facing again for the second dose pray for your protection continue to help them lord and continue to help focus on you who's there who is there present in times of trouble and circumstances we commit our loved ones continue to protect them lord from harm and danger also and continue to Make each one's life a blessing and may your grace abound and may your healing touch be upon all those ones who are in need of your touch. Commit everything unto your care and cleanse us, O God, from all our unrighteousness. In the same pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care. Good morning, everyone. Today is May 7, 2021. And I'll be reading to you in the book of Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. And in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. May the Lord add a blessing upon reading of his ways. If you learn to trust me, really trust me with your whole being, then nothing can separate you from my presence. Everything you endure can be put to good use by allowing it to train you in trusting me. This is how you foil the works of evil. 
growing in grace through the very adversity that was meant to harm you. Joseph was a prime example of this divine reversal declaring to his brothers, You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Do not fear what this day or any day may bring your way. Concentrate on trusting me and on doing what needs to be done. Relax in my sovereignty, remembering that I go before you as well as with you into each day. Fear no evil, for I can bring good out of every situation you will ever encounter. Ang ganda, no? Learn to trust Jesus. Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for a good night rest. Thank you for the things that you had done. And thank you for the things we done today. Help us, the Lord, to trust you fully. And it is what you wanted from us. And thank you whatever circumstances we will be facing, not only today, but day after day. We believe that you are with us as you promised us in your words. Though I, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. And those ones, the Lord, who will be taking their vaccines, I pray for your blessing will be upon them. Help them not to fear because you are with them. You are with us and you will be with us whatever circumstances ahead of us. So cover each one with your precious blood. I'm going to extend your hands, Lord, to your children who are suffering now. Pray for your victory will be upon them. Extend your hands, Lord. Give them the healing that they need. And I know, Lord, that you are our great God who cares, who loves, and who will sustain, who will sustain us. Cover each one with your precious blood. And may your inner strength will be upon your children. Give them the joy, the joy, the victory that they need right now. I know, Lord, that you are there. You will. You promised us that you will leave us, not forsake us. And whatever circumstances your children will be facing, help them, dear Lord, to trust you. And whatever harm that they did to us, help us, dear Lord, to have a Joseph-like character that even though he was being betrayed, he was being... Uh, he was being betrayed by his brothers, but still, the Lord, he trusts you in this in his circumstances. So, same thing, Lord, to be with your children, that they be able, the Lord, to trust you also. And thank you for being with our loved ones, for keeping them safe, for protecting them from harm and danger, from all sicknesses and healing tasks that you have given to them. And thank you for answering our prayers. Bless your children and cleanse us, O oh God, from all our unrighteousness and embrace us, O oh God, with your loving kindness and presence. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning and God bless you. Take care po. Bye-bye. Good morning. Today is May 8, 2021 and reading in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. And in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. May the Lord add the blessing upon reading of his ways. Do not long for the absence of problems in your life. That is an unrealistic goal since in this world you will have trouble. You have an eternity of problem-free living reserved for you in heaven. Rejoice in that inheritance which no one can take away from you. But do not seek your heaven on earth. Begin each day anticipating problems, asking me to equip you for whatever difficulties you will encounter. The best equipping is my living presence, my hand that never lets go of yours. Discuss everything with me. Take a light-hearted view of trouble, seeing it as a challenge that you and I together can handle. Remember that I am on your side 
and I have overcome the world. Ganda, no? Don't long for the absence of the problems sa life natin because andyan na yan ka-partner natin. God is always with us. Yan ang promise niya sa atin. He will uphold us in His right hand. Father, we thank you for the blessings of your words that we have received today. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for a good night rest. Thank you for giving us opportunity to thank you for all the things that you have done to us. And of all the difficulties that you have faced, we thank you for you have given us the strength to face it and for the victories of a body, Lord, to experience every day of our lives whatever lord your children be facing today i believe lord that they are not alone and you can claim your promise that we can do all things through you who gives us strength we thank you because you have encouraged us again to give us to give our cares to you whatever uh, challenge you will be facing because we know that we are not alone. So continue to bless your children with good health, strength as they face today, the as they do their work. Continue to protect them, Lord, from harm and danger. And continue to protect our loved ones, Lord. And continue to give them the healing that they need. And thank you for keeping them safe in the hall of your hands. Despite the Lord's uh, situation, ito, still you are there to help and to, to protect your people. And thank you for your... Uh, guidance once again as well as your presence so cleanse us oh god from all our unrighteousness and continue to meet the needs of your children day to day and continue the lord to make us a blessing in jesus name we pray amen amen good morning and god bless you take care always bye bye